Welcome my students, I'm Dr. Ugwe here and today we are going to learn how to draw the diagram of the ventricles seen from the lateral surface. This diagram is given in the BDC and this is the diagram given in the BDC that is the ventricle seen from the lateral surface and we will try to learn how to draw this diagram. So let's begin. First we will draw a C-shaped structure like this and we will extend it like this and we'll continue it like this clear and we will like this this canal will extend it downwards and continue it like this and like this it will go continue and it will continue like this so this is the ventricular system seen from the lateral surface. In our brain, we have two lateral ventricles. We have total number of four ventricles. This C-shaped structure is a lateral ventricle. It is located in the cerebral hemisphere. So we have two lateral ventricles present in the two cerebral hemispheres. So this is the lateral ventricle. This is the also lateral ventricle. This lateral ventricle communicates to the third ventricle. This part is the third ventricle through a foramen that's called as the foramen of Munro. That's called as the foramen of Munro. This third ventricle communicates with the fourth ventricle. This part here, right here, is the fourth ventricle through cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. Through cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. The ventricle system, these four ventricles, two later ventricles, one third ventricle and one fourth ventricle, these help in the CSF circulation. CSF from the lateral ventricle to lateral ventricles goes to the third ventricle via foramen of Munro and CSF from the third ventricle goes to the fourth ventricle via cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. And from the fourth ventricle, CSF goes to the central canal of spinal cord. Central canal of spinal cord. Central canal of spinal cord. In the uh, fourth ventricle, the fourth ventricle roof contains the roof of the fourth ventricle as we have seen in the previous lecture the roof of fourth ventricle roof of fourth ventricle it contains two lateral apertures two lateral apertures and one median aperture this lateral aperture these two lateral apertures are called as the foramen of lushka this one median aperture is called as the foramen of magenti csf from the fourth ventricle goes to the central canal of the spinal cord and it also goes through these two lateral apertures and one median aperture. Through these two lateral apertures, that's uh, these two foramen of Lushka's, CSF goes to the cerebellopontine sister. And through this median aperture, CSF goes to the cisterna magna. This cisterna magna and cerebellopontine cistern are subarachnoid spaces. So this is the ventricles when seen from the lateral surface now we will focus on the lateral ventricle this lateral ventricle is divided into stain parts this is the part first of the lateral ventricle this is the part second of the lateral ventricle this is the part third of the lateral ventricle and this is the part fourth of the lateral ventricle and this is the part fifth of the lateral ventricle this part is called the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle this part is called as the central part of the lateral ventricle. This part is called as the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle. This part is called as the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle. And this space where the central part, posterior horn and the inferior horn meets is called the atrium of the lateral ventricle. This anterior horn is present in the frontal lobe. This central part is present in the frontal and the parietal lobes this posterior horn is present in the occipital lobe and this inferior horn is present in the temporal lobe so this is the ventricles this is the four ventricles to lateral one third and one fourth ventricle when seen from the lateral surface